Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> oh, it's way too quiet in here. All right. Um, all you lazy, healthy people, do something good for yourselves for the first time in your lives and touch your toes or something. Uh, for those of you who don't know what you're doing here, this is yoga. I'm your sub. The person you're typically used to guiding you through all this uh, uh, stretching, how to run in with the Hamburglar the other day. I mean, they, they're fine. They're fine. It was just weird, you know? So they're just shaking off that experience. It's very atypical. So I'm just, uh, I'm the good friend. I'm always the good friend. For those of you who wore sneakers today, you were wrong. Um, yoga is um, a barefoot sport because all the yogis be trying to break their toes. So if everybody can just like get uncomfortable and put your hands over your head or something and just like stretch back and forth. This is not rocket science. Like do not be look do not be looking at each other for validation. It's just it's like every morning what do you do? You probably stretch a little bit. So just do that. Um, while I take a look at these poses on my phone. Oh, just do that for a second. Okay, um, so we're gonna start off with something called the sun salutations, which sounds way too perky to be real or relatable, but here we are in yoga class, bare freaking foot. So you're gonna, I guess, just put your arms over your head again, but this time you're gonna really mean it and you're gonna just like stretch back as well, like really get your back stretch on and like wherever that it's boring. So now you're gonna like bend at the hips and kind of touch your toes if you can, if you can't, whatever. The point is you're just a little bit miserable for an unex inexplicit extended period of time. So yeah, just be miserable. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to tell you all like, don't forget to breathe, but like you're obviously breathing, you're alive. So good job on that. Uh, but I guess nobody stop breathing. I guess that's more helpful. Um, just as a as a rule of thumb, just don't stop breathing. This is so stupid. All right. So now that everybody's still alive, um, you're gonna drop a knee. Hold on. Yeah, you're just gonna like. So, so you're gonna drop a foot behind you. And you're gonna keep your knee out in front of you. And this pose is like runner's lunge pose. So imagine like when we used to run when you were like a kid, it, everybody felt cooler to like be in a lunge before they ran and sprinted, but it did nothing for them. Just do that. Like this is like feeling yourself pose. Like cool, look at me, I look like a runner pose. Um, and if you wanna feel really awesome um, in a way that does not much, um, aesthetically though, it's everything. If you like put your arms out, like you're a freaking warrior for Mulan, you know, you're going to get down to business. You do, ugh, it's too early for this. Just do that. Um, if you look, the more you look like you're going to defeat the Huns, the better the stretch you're going to get. That I know for sure. <sighs> yeah. Oh, and if everybody brought a thermos of a, or a bottle of water, I'm, like at certain points, I'm, I'm at certain points, I just drink it whenever you want. All right, so now what we're gonna do, now that we're done feeling awesome, is we're gonna then go into downward dog. We all know what that is. You just have your hands by your head at the front, and then you're gonna straighten your knees at the back, and you're gonna look like a triangle. So if you can contort yourself into a pyramid, you're doing it right. Oh, this one sucks. Oh, I'm bored already. All right, so listen, um, we're just gonna stay in this one a little longer because I know people need this for their calves. Okay, uh, I, I don't know what else to say on this one. This one's really simple and just really, really awful. It's so bad. So now this one's a little more fun. Um, you're just gonna dip into like a, what's called the baby cobra. 
I don't see how this looks much different than like a normal cobra or if there is a normal cobra. And if there is a normal cobra, just stay and teach me after class. And you know what? No, just go home. I'll look it up or something. Um, but the point is, you, you're just going to like dip and then go up. Okay, how do I, you're just going to dip like you're doing a push-up. And if you can't do the push-up, that's fine. You're just going to end up with your arms straight and your belly on the floor. You'll be stretching your back and kind of like, you know, point your head up and back but if you can do the push-up that's like a quick moment to be able to say look at me I still have muscles like I know I do that whenever I get down and do this because who wants to like actually hit the gym you know if you get this one push-up in you can feel like all right I've got it together I'm doing more than most people can excellent this one does feel good though it's so easy too it's too easy I know all y'all want to suffer here I can't explain it, but I'm here to respect that, maybe. So now we're gonna go from that into, um, if you wanna do another push up here and like feel awesome, by all means, don't let me stop you. If you don't wanna feel awesome, welcome to the world. Um, you're now gonna go press back into the same downward dog you were just in, the boring one, the painful, boring pose. Oh, this is my least favorite thing. Uh, and we're just gonna stay there for a second this time. And from there, you're gonna walk your feet up to your hands, as you know, keep your hands as low as you can. And if you can't touch your toes, it's fine. Just kind of hang into like an almost touching toes position again. And just like sway like a, like a willow tree or whatever. I'm getting really good at this. Um, you sway like a willow tree and then you're gonna get bored and slowly creep up each spine uh, um, vertebra every vertebra Every vertebrae of your spine if that's possible it's just like each one you just kind of creep your way to the top and your head's the last thing to go up Mm-hmm. Yeah, just just creep all the way up there TLC style and then your arms gonna go over your head again um, And you're gonna stretch again Cool, we're all warmed up. So okay, I have this list of sequences That was a dumb thing to say this is a sequence. I have a list of poses within a sequence and then We'll do them all right this is for chakras uh, this is we're gonna balance our chakras together i want to drink water i guess so and we're done with water we're gonna sit down just like a normal human person with your feet in front like just sit down with your legs together toes up sit up straight like your teachers used to tell you in elementary school and then, um, this is called Dandasana, um, which I call just sit like a normal human pose. And then, now that we're all in normal human pose, so relieved, we're gonna fold like a piece of paper. Um, this looks miserable, but aren't we having fun? Um, this is Pashimottanasana, and you're just gonna like, actually fold like a piece of paper and just pretend like you can get your face anywhere towards your knees and your arms are going to go out beyond your toes paper pose we call this piece piece of paper pose oh all right i guess this is the part where i should check in and say how's everybody doing but like i don't want to be patronizing like i think it's pretty obvious how everybody's doing here Besides, this is not exactly a hooting and hollering class. So what are you gonna say, just exhale? No, I would have no idea how you're doing anyhow. What a ridiculous question in the yoga class. Unless we wanted this to become a hoot, you know what, we're, this sucks. Now we gotta stay here for a minute, I think. Uh, oh yeah, like breathe and, this probably would be the good time to remind everybody to breathe, maybe, but again, you're still alive. So like, I mean, I was, under the impression this was just like your average Joe class, but I can imagine seeing as I've not had to thoroughly remind anyone to breathe yet, everybody is surviving. And I guess that's like really impressive in yoga. So I've been done with this. We're gonna just get back up. Um, oh, what is, this? so this is like, oh, I know too much about this pose. 
Okay, so um, there, are, there are a number of places where, like, if you're going to poop on the street, you, like, just pop a squat. It's, it's pop squat pose. So, like, it's called malasana, but we all know it's poop on the street pose. So you're just going to squat with your knees up to your shoulders um, and just pretend like you're doing exactly what I just broke down for you. You know, is that, like, a dirty word? Am I gonna get like flagged in this yoga class for that word? I guess you can never be too safe about normal bodily functions or anatomy. Um, you're gonna put your hands together, no shade, um, as if you're praying, like I really hope it's a good one. And um, and you're just clo you're gonna close your eyes and then and just and wonder why any of that qualified as vulgarity. I think we're done with this pose. So you're now going to go into, um, what in the heck? Utasana, Utanasana, Utanasana, which I think is just like try to touch your toes again, but like really mean it. So do that. Just try to like, from there, you're just going to like, you're just going to like, how do I put this? You're going to unfold like a like a like a vertical piece of paper and you're just gonna like hope that you can just press your whole body oh i know how to explain this it's like that terrible paper pose but now you're vertical so everybody just go ahead and do that if you can if you can't i don't judge you i don't judge here this is a judgment free zone haven't you heard this is like a safe space or something um but this is good though. Everybody just press your whole bodies together. This is so weird that humans can do this. How do we do this? You know, like, I don't know. Do we see other animals doing this? Like, actually, this is kind of amazing. Human bodies are, well, poorly evolved. Poorly evolved. No, we don't get, we might get like a point for yoga in the genetic soup that is a garbage human body. Uh-uh, we are high maintenance, we are inefficient, and if at any given point we lost all our technology, we'd be the first to go, mm-mm, yoga doesn't make up for it, but this is like kind of cool in a vacuum. So anyhow, we're gonna move on to this non-complicated pose, and it's called, uh, jeez, these names are gonna kill me. Um, Utkatasana, um, which to me means um, just pretend like you're about to sit in a chair, but you know the person that you're with is going to pull it out and video record you fall and break your back and laugh about it. So your arms are just going to stay way over your head and you're going to kind of like, like you were going to sit, but you're like fooled you because I'm actually going to like take off into flight like Superman. So if you can look like you're actually like about ready to spring up from a chair to go like vertically shoot into the sky and like save some civilians or cats and trees or whatever Superman does on a day, uh, just do that. Yeah, so this is like prepare to take flight pose. at katasana. Very good, everybody. Everybody understood that one. Wow. I am good at those. <sighs> okay. Well, now that um, we all sadly remember that we're human and we can't fly yet. Someone's gonna hit me with some radioactive something. But anyhow, um, we're not going anywhere. So we might as well just like, I, I, this looks like a failure pose to me. Um, you're just gonna put your hands by your side and kind of look down. Yeah, so this is called Tadasana. And you're just gonna have your feet next to you. So you're just gonna like sadly unfold from that pose and realize you've lost your power to fly. Um, and you're like, just have an existential moment. In this photo, this little stick figure looks pretty down. Eyes are closed and you're just like, if I can't fly, what will I do? You know, just have a moment when you realize that you're stripped of all of your special abilities that give you purpose and just breathe. <sighs> How depressing. <sighs> but we are all 
failing together and isn't that special so from there uh we're gonna go wow this is a list oh no it's not so we're in a couple i got carried away yeah so this one looks like you're looking for your powers anywhere else so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna like splay your legs as if you're going in a starfish and then you're just gonna like really sadly bang your head against the floor so like your legs are splayed but there was no white wall to smash your head into with your arms by your sides like the movies you know so like both your arms shoulder width apart your hands are going to go on the floor next to your head and the crown of your head is also on the floor and you're either smashing your head into the ground because like you, you just give up at this point or you're looking for your powers behind you so, good work, everybody. I'm very impressed. Okay, um, I guess we can stay here for a while. I don't know, who wants to, um, is there like a sharing portion of the class? Like, who wants to share a time in which they thought they were like really good at something and then they realized that they weren't? I don't know who wants to like share a story about a time that like they thought they were special in any given way and then that special thing was 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 taken away like who wants to share something relatable to yoga peaceful yes all right so now I guess we're gonna go into the last thing uh Oh, I have a note here, literally it just says inhale, exhale, right. Yeah, everybody inhale and exhale. Like, forget all of your like skin pore osmosis of air. If you would inhale and exhale, like you've all survived up until this point, but please inhale, exhale properly. Jeez. <sighs> well, there it is, isn't it? Okay, we're just gonna wrap things up. Uh, so for anybody who's feeling confused, and why wouldn't you be, um, after we did the whole sun salutations flow thing, um, we started by balancing our chakras with normal people pose. Um, hold on, let's begin with the uh, fancy words. Dandasana is normal people pose. We have uh, going into Paschimottanasana, paper pose. Malasana, pray poop pose. Atasana, uh, vertical paper pose. Atkatasana, take flight pose. Tadasana, sad man pose. And then we have um, Prasarita Padotanasana, which is, um, where is it? Pose. And then we ended with Atita Trikonasana, which is the wilted starfish. So, I understand these classes generally last 30 minutes. Like, in my opinion, you've now learned everything you need to know to balance your, your chakras. Um, so, like, you can just, uh, amongst yourselves, just, like, repeat everything we just reviewed and... I guess I'll be here to like, I guess I'm, I'm on the clock. Ugh. Whatever, let's wrap it up. So um, everybody's hyped to go into Adhita Trikonasana pose. Um, so in this one, what in the... Okay, so sometimes stick figures aren't helpful, but what we're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna like splay our legs again and pretend like you're going in a starfish, but this time you're gonna, like, you, you're a starfish with not much upper body strength. Like, you've not hit the gym, you've missed every arm day, and you've missed every ab day, you have no core, you are all leg day, and you're like, man, the regret, and you wilt. You're gonna wilt to one side in that starfish, and so that one hand on that one side will now be touching your toes, and that other hand will be will be um uh, parallel basically 
you're going to be looking at your one hand up in the air while that other hand is touching your toe on that same side of the body you're sad starfish you're a wilted yo where is my core strength i don't believe in pilates and now i have massive regret about my gym training starfish perfect you know what this was not a bad day I mean, it was weird. Everything about it was weird from the Hamburglar to the uh, starfish pose to taking off into flight to this moment. But like, oh, you lazy, healthy people. <sighs> you got through it. Yeah, I still never understand why we don't wear sneakers through all of this, but you got through it. Nobody broke their toes. Everyone's well-groomed. Good for you. Everybody seems to have showered. This could have been much worse. Um, so now I guess we're going to like slowly unfold. No, you know, and like do the other side. So again, like it's like as a starfish, you do like try to, to get back up, but then you like wilt to the other side. So do that. <sighs> to be a sad starfish must be nice. Must be nice. Animal Kingdom. You know what? No, the Animal Kingdom is just as wrecked as we are. So I rescued this frog the other day. Because I was like, oh, this frog that stays in, it's going to dry out, and it's going to be gross, and it's going to die, right? And I, like, spent all day trying to chase it and catch it, and I did, and I let it out. And immediately realized, what's the point? It's just going to get eaten by a squirrel or something. Like, what was the point of all that effort? And let me tell you something about yoga. Something that the yogis won't tell you. Earth is dumb. Earth is so stupid. Um... But so long as we can all fail together in a safe space, I guess we can do yoga. Okay, so everybody straighten out. Uh, I guess if you wanted to like reach towards the sky again, you could, but we've done that twice. And okay, not 10 minutes early. Uh, do your chakras feel cleansed? Like, are your chakras not cleansed? Absolutely, they are. Um, so now that everybody's balanced, I don't know, it's just like enjoy fantasizing about all the balanced things you can do now that you've spent time here. I'm sure you can reap the day and stuff. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, watch out for like hamburger uh, every, everybody get out get out thank you good work everybody hey seeing as we're getting out early if everybody wouldn't mind giving me a five star review on Yelp and putting a good word in with the manager on a survey uh, that would be spectacular thank you for class